Now, to get them a little bit more background information, this happened to what seemed to be my dad sometime around maybe the 1990s. I can't remember if this happened back in 1992 or 93, but it was one of the other times, and this was back when my, before my mom and dad got married and got together. Now, since this was taken around the 90s, my dad was around his 30s at the time of this story. When my dad was with his buddies, Benny and, of course, Jeff being one of his other friends, the two of them even decide then in the 90s, they would go to a coffee shop and just celebrate their, their, well, their parties and stuff like that, even people's birthdays. This happened on my dad's birthday, even though he wasn't really a big fan of my dad, of his birthday, he still really, really enjoyed this at the time of the story. Now, with that being said, my dad, along with Jeff and even Benny, decided to go for a walk in the forest. Now, I know it wasn't really, really anything my dad would do on, you know, basically in this on his birthday, but they decided to go and have a look in the forest, but, but that was way before they changed their mind, as it was going to be raining at the day, so they decided just to go to what seemed to be a restaurant to celebrate. But as they were driving back home, it was around maybe, I guess, 5 p.m. And, of course, that is when when they were driving past by a forest preserve. Now, the forest was significant with trails and other stuff. But they stopped to look that there was, was tire tracks that led to the bottom or something like that. There were some tire tracks that seemed to be look like someone had driven there about maybe be just recently. So Jeff, along with my dad and even and even Benny, decided to go down that trail. As they were going down that trail, or at least the tires where it led, it actually led to what seemed to be a thicket forest. They ended up walking through the trail of the forest in the woods and thinking maybe it was just something that maybe someone's car broke down or somehow it went off-road. But when they got there, they looked to see that there was an abandoned truck. This truck looked very old. It looked like maybe no one had used it in decades. It, there was some moss and that covering it, and it looked like it was just still parked there. It was in some trees, so my dad, along with Benny and his friend, decided to go have a look. As they walked over to what seems to be, be something interesting, or they thought it might have been something scary, Benny had a look and asked if anyone was around, but there was nobody there. They ended up looking at the back seat of the car, and Benny called my dad and Jeff over to see what happened, and, or see what he's found. And what he found really struck him. It was thousands of posters and even videos of X-rated content. Most of the content was very much illegal for anybody to own. I'm not even going to say what the was contents were in there, but my dad, along with Jeff and even Fib Benny, took down the name of the license plate and the truck and the location of it, and they reported it to the authorities. The police and park rangers scavenged the area, and of course the evidence was taken in. Luckily, my, my dad's friends, Benny and Jeff, did because my dad wouldn't even bother doing it. Don't ask why. But when the police um, have been searching for whoever had owned this, this illegal X-rated stuff, well, they never found the person or anyone who owned that stuff. It's been at least almost 30 years. I don't know if they still haven't found them or not, but they never updated my dad or his friends about it since. So, this happened at least a few years ago, probably around 2016. I used to work at this dog train place, which had a forest, which was, the, was around the big property. It used to be a horse barn, or at least a farm, a long time ago, but I have no idea what happened after that. So I was doing my usual routine, usually taking, taking the long walks and even just making sure everything was okay and, well, pretty decent at that. So as I was doing my usual job at this dog train place, it was around when I think it has to be the fall and of course the fall, it was starting to get really cold outside. Well with that being said, 
I was instructed by one of my workers to go to the back of the yard and take some stuff to the shed. We have a shed back there that was around in the forest area, so it wasn't really that big of a surprise. As I was back there, about to take some stuff, stuff into the shed, mainly outdoor equipment, I looked to see that there was a young girl. She looked to be about maybe 10 or 11 years old, and I thought she was lost, but where was her parents? I looked around, but I couldn't find her parents anywhere, and how would she even get there was my question. I had no idea if it was a next door neighbor's kid, but I called out to her. But she didn't respond. Instead, she just turned around and she ran back inside, back in the forest, so I decided to go after her. I went after her inside the forest, and after what seemed to be be running for after her for a while, I eventually looked, but I couldn't find her. I called out if she was there, but unfortunately that wasn't the case, as I never saw her. I couldn't find her anywhere. But then I looked, and I saw something. It was a tent. It looked like one of these old tents. Kind of like these old canvas tents, tents that used to be before, you know, modern ones. It looked like if it was a big opening, and I called out for the young girl, but I didn't get a response. It was just really something. I didn't know what it was, but I could definitely tell that it was really um, interesting. I ended up looking over. I called out if anyone was there, but unfortunately it wasn't the case. When I walked over, I could end up seeing that the tent itself looked like something was in there. I looked in there and realized that there was some cards, even some Pokemon cards, and even a couple of comics. I looked around but couldn't find the girl anywhere, and that's when I heard a scream in the distance. I nearly lost my crap and ended up having to run out of there as fast as I could. Ever since I got back to the place, I showed, I showed my, my boss about what I saw in the woods. She went with me to investigate, but when we got there, the tent was no longer there, and she couldn't find anybody. That She told me that that campsite had been abandoned for a while, but I have no idea where this girl was, but I really do hope that she is nowhere to be found, and I have no idea if she was, if this was paranormal or something completely abnormal. I unfortunately have no idea where this girl is or if I've ever f f returned there, but regardless, I never saw this girl again, and I never saw that tent again, and I don't plan on returning anytime soon to find out. So this took in place in the fall of 2017, while I was on a hiking trip. Now, I was on a hiking trip, trip with a few of my friends, and it was sometime in the fall. Now, my friends and I were going through the forest one day after school, as it was a weekend, and I didn't have anything else to do, so my friend, which we'll call her Alyssa, asked me a question. Alyssa asked me about a few things about where I wanted to do, what I wanted to go, and what I want to do. So I said to her that we would go for a little trail walk in the forest. So the forest where we were at was actually pretty interesting, so we decided to walk down, down this forest path. The forest was actually pretty interesting, and it was really nice, nice to see that everything was all looking pretty. Leaves changing colors, the cool breeze, you get the picture. It was so amazing that we could just watch everything and walk for hours. As we were walking though, I ended up hearing what seemed to be tree branches snapping in the woods. Now at first I thought maybe it might have been some other hiker or at least someone else walking their dog, as that has had co common when you come to forests. But I looked, but I couldn't find anybody, and I couldn't everything else. But I guess that is just a very um, consideration in that. So, with that being said, I kept walking in the forest with Alyssa. As we were walking deeper into the forest, we ended up stopping what seemed to be an open area, and we looked around. 
The area was pretty small, but it was pretty, pretty interesting to say the least. Even though it was a small closed up area, I then heard what seemed to be like footprints along with some trees and branches snapping. I turned back think looking around, thinking that maybe it might have been someone following us, but I couldn't seem to find it. However though, what I heard, what I saw could be a black figure standing in the woods. It was so thick with the trees in the way, I couldn't really even see what it was. I thought it might have been, been a bear roaming around the area, as bears were rare in these parts, but we do see bears occasionally wandering around. We turned around thinking that there might have been a bear, and we called out if the bear was letting the bear know we were here, but the bear did not seem to move at all. It didn't even look at us. It just stared what seemed to be in the other direction. We were having a feeling it might have been a bear, so we continued on our trail. As we got closer and closer, so the thing just kept standing far and far away. It didn't even bother to come after us, so we had a feeling it was a bear. At least a couple minutes later, there, me and Alyssa were back at her house, and we were just doing our own usual thing. But, however, though, this was something really disturbing. Alyssa said that there was something outside in, the, in, the, in the, where the forest area is, as there was a gate to the forest area. I ended up opening up the gate and stepping out, telling Alyssa to stay put. And as we stepped out, we, I ended up seeing that what seemed to be a creature. This creature looked to be about maybe six feet tall, but it didn't look like a bear. It looked more like if it was an ape or a person. It was only a few feet away, but it didn't notice me, and I tried to be quiet so it wouldn't notice that I was there. As it just stared what seemed to be at me, I don't even know if it was staring directly at me or not. It, was ju it just turned around and ran back into the woods. I ended up feeling so paranoid that Alyssa had to call the police. Although Alyssa, during the time the story was around maybe be my age, 19 or 20 years old, she was apparently terrified too when the police came over and explained what the creature looked like. They searched for the part of the forest that was near Alyssa's yard, but unfortunately they didn't find anybody in the woods. They said that these encounters have been very strange as we described it as what seemed to be a tall gorilla-like creature. And one of the officers said that it's possible that it could have been a Sasquatch. Or, at this case, it could have been someone really big. I thought on my end it might have been a bear, but it looked too big to be a bear. And this honestly still scares me and my friend for a very long time. My friend and I never ran into that creature again ever since that day. But we're not sure what it wanted, but regardless, we never saw it again.